Hey everybody, it's Eric here with Spartan Auto Works. Today we're talking about some Mercedes products that we're starting to offer as a mail-in service. Some of you have already used us for DME unlocking or cloning for your Mercedes products, or the EIS, key making, whatever. But we haven't really offered as a mail-in service the Intelligent Shift Module or Servo Module, our VGS 1, 2, and 3 transmission conductor plate as a mail-in unlocking service. So if you have a 7-speed transmission, you're going to know all about this conductor plate because they are extremely problematic, especially if you're going one from one car to another. Now, tidbit, if you're going from one car to another or if you're taking a donor transmission, replacing yours, because they go bad all the time, if you're replacing yours, as long as the conductor plate's okay, you could swap the conductor plate from one transmission to the other. Now, there is a, a sequence that you should be running afterwards. I'll probably make a video more about that the next time I get one of those cars in here if we swap the conductor plate and don't do a... a uh, you know, replace it or reprogram the one that's already in it. But if you are swapping a conductor plate from one car to the other, you can't move it because it's locked by security. So it has the basically the keys programmed into it and the VIN and a couple other little bits of information that lock it to that car. So if you're moving a VGS1, 2, or 3 conductor plate from a used transmission to another car, it has to be unlocked before you can program it. Now, What's all involved? You would have to remove the conductor plate. Got an example right here. This is a VGS3 model right here in this box. Um, you can take that out. You do not have to include the solenoids. The solenoids are, hopefully you can see this in the camera here, but the solenoids pop in. You do not need to include those. Uh, they're just staying with this one here so they don't get lost here. But you do not need to include those. You just need to bring the, or send the conductor plate by itself, what we will do is we will go through, we will unlock it, and basically clear it to virginize it, and then once you put it in your new transmission or your donor transmission, you'll then be able to recode it back to this car or to your, your car. So you have to have special tools, not just for that, but even if you were going to do a DME, if it's not going to be cloned and you're going to just unlock it and program it afterwards, you have to have factory tools or special tools. We'll talk about that in a second. Now, the ISM intelligent servo motor shift motor whatever you want to call it sits on the side of the transmission like we talked about it's actually what puts it through the gears from park to uh, drive um, obviously locked as well they consider this a security item so it's locked as well so it has to be unlocked same procedure we're going to unlock it make it basically take out the uh, personalization the activation the VIN etc and the keys basically make it like a new part so you can use a used component now, either of these options that you get here, um, if you're replacing the ISM or a VGS conductor plate, you will have to recode it back to the car. So, special tooling is required. Most common that you will find in shops will probably be the Altel, especially in a foreign shop. I Probably every foreign shop I've really been to, if they're not using factory tools, they're using the Altel. Altel is a great tool. I wish I was getting paid by them. But... I rely on the Altel as my primary go tool tool for almost everything. But with the Altel, you can recode these back to your car. So there's a whole drive authorization process for the conductor plate. I believe the intelligent servo motor is the same. I haven't done one of those in a long, long time. But next time I get one of these cars in, I am definitely going to do a follow up video and show you the whole procedure of coding a virginized uh, VGS2 R. ISM back to the car so you guys have an idea what's going on. Now, the uh, ISM, really easy to ship. You just want to make sure it's packed with a couple inches around the, uh, the module just so it doesn't get damaged in transport. But the conductor plate is kind of a, um, a sensitive module here. So you can see it's made out of plastic. Part of it's, you know, pretty much all the body of it's plastic, but it's got some sensitive components. Like I said, you do not need to send the solenoids, just the conductor plate. I found this box right here to be the best box to ship these in. And I do have the size on here, which is 1812 by five. So if you need the service, so if you need to replace your conductor plate, and in your transmission, or you're doing a transmission swap and want to use a conductor plate out of the donor transmission and want to recode it to your car, 18, let's see, one more time, 1812 by 5 is the best size box I found that will work for shipping these in the mail. Uh, we recommend UPS or FedEx. 
More information about this can be found in the links below on this YouTube video. Uh, link to our website where we have all the information about the conductor plate and the ISM and DMEs uh, for the Mercedes stuff that we offer. Our EIS stuff if anybody needs extra keys. But primarily what we're talking about today is the ISM and the VGS. Notoriously bad in these transmissions. Um, a lot of times when you go try to buy a used transmission from especially from a salvage yard, which we're going to make a video about that too because it's I got a grind my gears video I'm about ready to do. When you call about these transmissions, a lot of places don't like selling them because the conductor plates are such an issue. But free tidbit, you don't have to send to me if your old conductor plate is good. You can swap it from you know one transmission to the other and then kind of run a process afterwards, which next one I get that I'm not swapping the plate, I'm going to do a follow-up video. If anybody is getting ready to do one that has these tool that has the tooling that knows how to do it, if you want to make a video and link it in this video, that would be great as well. But next one I get, I'm going to do that just to show you guys what we're talking about. And we're going to do a video follow-up for coding one as well. So if you need a service, look in the links below. I'll have information on our website about it, where to send it, what we need you to fill out, what it's going to cost, all the good information. If you have any questions, of course, comment below or send me an email. Get back to you with whatever questions you got and try to get you taken care of and get you back on the road. Like I said, comment below if you have any questions or got, drop me an email. And we'll do the best to get back to you. And uh, if you have any questions, you can also call us. 636-795-6960 or 314-433-5274. Thanks. Have a great day.